Hello, my name is Dr Sophie Salden and I'm a researcher from the University of Birmingham. Being able to express emotion and understand emotional expressions of others is crucial to our everyday lives. In our lab, we are interested in the way movement speed is related to emotions. From the study of whole body movement, we know that movement speed gives important information about a person's emotional state. For example, when feeling angry, our body movements are typically fast, whilst when we're sad, our movements are somewhat slower. We wanted to know if this extends to facial emotion expressions. Therefore, does the speed of facial movement play a role in our ability to recognise emotions? We first asked people to create facial expressions directed at a camera and tracked and measured the speed of movement in regions of the face known to be important in producing emotions, including the eyebrows, the nose and the mouth, and we used a software called OpenFace. Overall, emotional expressions of happiness and anger are characterised by high-speed face movement and sadness by low-speed movements. In the second phase of the study, we created new stimulus videos of facial emotion expressions for happy, angry and sad, and presented these as a series of dots on the screen. Here you can see example stimuli for an anger expression, followed by a happy expression. We presented these videos to our participants at different speeds, and our findings demonstrate that speeding up facial expressions promotes accurate anger and happiness judgments, whilst slowing down expressions encourages more accurate sad judgments. These findings highlight the importance of speed of movement in both the way we produce and perceive emotions from faces. Interpreting and using these speed cues may guide us when interacting with others and a better understanding of this could give us new insights into the diagnosis of conditions such as autism spectrum disorder and Parkinson's disease. This is because patients with these conditions often recognise and produce expressions differently. Finally, we believe these findings are important in improving algorithms designed to detect and track facial emotion. If you would like to know more about our research, please do check out our lab website as well as our latest paper to be published in the journal Emotion.